Slot Museum. Today we are taking a look at a game that uh, is a classic from Bally, and I absolutely love this game. Uh, I can't wait to show you. I haven't played it in a long time, so uh, don't, don't hold me to that quote. But last time I played this game, I had so much fun on it. I love the music, I love the graphics, the animations, everything. Today we are taking a look at Lucky Mon. Lucky Mon? Now when you think of Lucky Mon, don't you think Jamaican? Uh, but this is short for Lucky Monsters. So let's take a look at it. All right, so this is Lucky Mon. Little Monsters, Big Money. This is a classic Bally game, uh, about 2006-ish. It was developed by uh, Bally's Team Alpha 4, or Alpha Team 4, whichever way you want to say it, it's probably Alpha Team 4. Uh, but they've been making games for Bally um, for quite some time, so it's kind of cool to see their little logo up here for a classic game, and it's also cool to see that they're still uh, uh, producing some solid titles. So they're definitely experienced uh, in the Bally universe. So let's go ahead and take a look at the paint table. It's actually called Help here. Alright, so our big top symbol is the Lucky Mon. And then Double Wilds are next. That's interesting. That's different. Scatter Pays are the free games. Uh, so the Double Wild on an active pay line doubles the pay when matched with winning symbols. Okay. Uh, double Wild does not multiply Double Wild only pays, so I guess it's just double, so it doesn't keep stacking up the multiplier. Three or more free games in any position award free games bonus. Alright. If free games two times appears in any position on the center rail during free games, uh, the free games bonus is doubled. I really like that. Uh, there's a couple other Bally games that do that that will double your bonus. Brilliant idea. I wish they would... Uh, revisit that if they haven't. Alright, uh, if you get three bonus mons uh, appearing in any position on one, three, and five, it's a credit award. So uh, you probably pick one of them and it's it ranges from three to a hundred times the total credits bet. That's kind of neat. Uh, here are the 25 pay lines and there are free games pay lines. They look exactly the same. They do. All right, so let's do some live play. It's only a 25 line game. Doesn't want that one. Uh, we'll put about 75 bucks in. Maybe not. You don't like me today, do you? This is ridiculous. Uh, I like to keep it as a, a real amount, so... Yeah. Let's just play with the 50 and see how we do. Alright, we're gonna bet all lines. Nice. Uh, you, you may notice the music, it's from... Uh, uh, Better Off Ed. It's very common for slot manufacturers to read. that two times in the center reel to double our win. Hopefully on the last spin, that's probably the best time to get it. I 
triggered 15 more games. Sweet. That was awesome. Uh, what a, what a, for a Bally game in this era, this is a really good uh, looking game. I mean, it, it's not quite WMS quality, but they really put a lot of effort into this with the attention to detail. And these characters are actually really cool. Good job, Alpha Team 4. Paid 11 bucks. That was another awesome thing they did. Bally never anticipated bonus spins for the longest time, and I can't believe this one has it. And it, and it wasn't really uh, replicated that much afterwards. This game holds up quite a bit. I love that sound. People were probably like shit in their pants when they heard that. They didn't expect it. Oh. As you can tell, oh nice, 16 bucks. As you can tell, this uh, better off uh, 30 bucks. Better off Ed stole the music from this. Uh, why not? It's great. I mean, the whole music package on this is like very fitting for both games, and it's a good tune. The bonus music and the, the count up, they're awesome tunes, so why not use it so it doesn't get forgotten? Uh, and like I said before, the animation on the characters are really good. Like that egg splat on the... I don't ever remember seeing that, and I have played this before. Um, have you guys played this? This is awesome. And I believe there was a... No, we got free... Every time I want... Alright, here we go. 15 free games. Big wins. Come on. Give me something. Okay, we got some double wilds there. Oh, that music's awesome. Come on. Let's get a big win and then double it. 
Uh, there was another game that did the same thing, the doubling of the bonus. And that was one of the uh, instant riches games that Bally produced. And I can't remember, there was a clone of this, which I think was exactly the same. And I can't remember the name of it. Uh, so if anyone can remember it, uh, comment below. Come on, let's double it at least. Last spin, double it. Oh. Alright, that was not bad. I like that screen transition too, that's pretty cool. Good job. Alright, we gotta get a big win so we can hear that entire credit count up. Of course. Come on. So if you hit the button, it makes a sound. And if you hit the uh, ten times button, it's a ding. Come on. Hit, hit again. Oh. Awesome sound for that end. Anticipation. And that was one thing that's like, these studios, the studio like Alpha Team 4 is so good at developing games that I don't know why they don't do more. Or, or at least train the other Bally Studios to be as good as them because some of the Bally Studios make really shitty games and I'm sorry to say that, but they do. And they shouldn't even be on casino floors. Uh, half of them are like unfinished and we're gonna review some of those and I'm gonna call them out on it I'm sorry, but there are certain studios that should not develop slot games at all So I don't believe I mean I think that these studios are uh, they might be in-house, some of them might be in-house, a lot of them are outsourced, but some of them might be in-house, and maybe they're groups of teams at that. I don't know how that works, I would love to find out, because every Bally game has a team logo on there. I don't know if they work for Bally or a separate company. Oh. I know for a fact like High Five and uh, Crazy Tooth are all independent studios that sell them content, but I'm not sure about this. About uh, Alpha Team 4 or Sierra Studios or some of them. Uh, See if we can get another free games. Well, a little tough. <laughs> Could have done a little sound editing there, like fading out the cut, but whatever. Oh, I thought that was it. I just noticed this, but it says spin mon. <laughs> and then it says stop mon. 
Mon. in here. I wonder if it's worth three times. go it says <laughs> that's awesome Anticipate. If anyone at Bally wants to hire me as quality control, uh, let me know. I would be happy to uh, uh, quality control these games. Damn! We're almost at 200 bucks. Come on, let's double that. Four spins to do it. Oh, preacher? Awesome. This game is uh, really good. I really enjoyed this game for a classic Bally game. Um, so uh, I would love, especially on this game, if anyone knows what the clone of this was, let me know in the comments below. Uh, but most importantly, if you've played this in the casino, did you like it? Uh, is this a good game? Because for a classic, this game is unbelievable uh, for a uh, according to uh, Bally standards, and I'm going to give a shout out to Alpha Team 4, which was uh, Bally's uh, uh, development studio who developed this game. Back in 2006, you guys had everything perfect on this game. Uh, the graphics, uh, the sound, the music, the, the anticipation sounds for the bonuses. Awesome job, guys. How about that run on Lucky Mon? Wasn't that a, a, a cute, fun game? Did I just say cute? I sure did. It was cute. I loved it. Uh, uh, 
the team, uh, the Alpha Team Four, really fucking nailed that game for the time. I wish they, uh, I wish they took that structure and applied it to other Valley games because there's not very, uh, a lot of Valley games are just like boom, boom, boom. You're in a bonus, and there's no presentation, there's no transition into the bonus, there's no anticipation into the bonus. It's all of a sudden, boom, 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 bonus done, boom, and you're playing again. But uh, what they did with this game would build it up. I just love it. The graphics and the animation are fucking excellent. And uh, I could see this appealing to both men and women uh, with the cute little aliens, I think. Uh, I didn't find it very gay at all. I would not be embarrassed to play that game. But uh, that was a good one. Let's go ahead and take a look at my rating for the game. I think you know how I stand on it, but let's show you anyway. <laughs> Alright guys, until next time, my name is Charles. Be sure to thumbs up, like, and subscribe because we got so many more episodes to go through. So many. But we're going to get through them all. So anyway, uh, until next time, happy slotting, and we'll see you on the next episode of the Slot Museum. Goodbye.